The Bible says he's a king of the Jews. He's a king of Israel. He's a king of righteousness. He's a king of the ages. He's a king of heaven. He's a king of glory. He's a king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. Now that's my king. Do you know him? No means of measure can define his limitless love. Well, well, he's in turnless form. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's impurely powerful. And he's impartially much. Do you know him? He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. Well, he's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's a fundamental doctrine of true theology. Do you know him? He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He heals the sick. He cleans the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. He delivers the captives. He defends the feet. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he beautifies the meek. Do you know him? My king is a key of knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. He's a roadway of righteousness. He's a highway of holiness. He's a gateway of glory. Do you know him? His light is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. His yoke is easy, and his burden is light. Well, I wish I could describe him to you, but he, he's indescribable. He's indescribable. Yeah. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. You can't get him out of your mouth. You can't get him off of your hands. You can't outlive him, and you can't live without him. Well, Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him, and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. Yeah, he always has been, and he always will be. I'm talking about he had no predecessor, and he'll have no successor. You can't even teach him, and he's not going to resign. 